Welcome to Stanley, Idaho, USA, famous for its outdoor wonderland. Now this video provides 10 reasons why people love Stanley. Yeah, 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 yeah. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Stanley, Idaho, USA. Population around 200. Now just for context, we have a map here. We have circled Stanley. Stanley is two hours and 45 minutes from Boise. Now this video will provide 10 reasons why people love Stanley. People love Stanley because of Sawtooth Lake. Day hiking is one of the most popular reasons to visit Stanley. Hundreds of trailheads are within a short drive, many leading to jaw-dropping views with only a few miles of hiking. Several of these routes stand out as some of Idaho's best hiking trails. Professional trekkers and new hikers alike gravitate towards Stanley for its abundance of beautiful paths to follow. Sawtooth Lake is a memorable day hike for many visitors to Stanley. This approximately nine and a half mile out and back hike features just under 2,000 feet of elevation gain. The views of Stanley Lake and the inspiring mountain ridges along the way reward the uphill effort. The hike begins at the Iron Creek Trailhead, less than six miles from the center of town. Sawtooth Lake is only one entry in a dictionary of day hikes surrounding Stanley. Other hiking points of interest include the Bridal Veil Falls, Bench Lakes, and the Fish Hook Creek Trail. Prime hiking season is between July and August. Users need to pack out any trash they bring into the woods and be prepared for outdoor conditions. People love Stanley because of Redfish Lake Lodge. Redfish Lake is the largest lake in the Sawtooth NRA and a central natural tourist attraction when visiting the area. It's located 15 minutes south of Stanley on the Sawtooth Scenic Byway. The stunning view of the mountains reflecting off the water is reason enough to visit. This mountainous atmosphere makes Redfish one of Idaho's best lakes. The Redfish Lake Lodge on the North Shore is the hub of attractions and things to do at the lake. Built in 1929, this timeless place to stay offers cabins, motel rooms, and lodge rooms. A historic ambiance and woodsy character come alongside each overnight accommodation. The lodge also facilitates all types of activities with full service marina and an equestrian corral. Boat rentals, guided horseback rides, and ferries across the water are available throughout the summer. Other amenities nearby include a sandy swimming beach, ample green space, and bicycle rentals. People love Stanley because of the hot springs. Several of Idaho's best hot springs are within a short drive of Stanley. These hot water locales include roadside primitive soaking spots and commercial hot springs with concrete pools. East of Stanley on the Salmon River Scenic Byway Highway 75, Sunbeam Hot Springs is a popular soaking spot near the roadside. Nearby and closer to town, Boat Box Hot Springs is another well-visited public hot springs. This unique hot spring consists of metal tubs with piped in natural hot water. West of Stanley on the Ponderosa Pine Scenic Byway, Highway 21, other natural spots like Bonneville and Kirkham Hot Springs are within an hour's drive. These two increasingly popular hot springs have forest service campgrounds connected by short hiking trails. People love Stanley because of the Salmon River whitewater rafting. The main Salmon River is a significant adventure source. It's a famous fishing river and one of the best places for whitewater rafting in Idaho. Expect several non-motorized boats on the river between June and September. The river caters to all types of trips, from scenic sightseeing floats to hold on to the boat class 4 whitewater action. Personal vessels are welcome on the Wild River. For those without a boat, several local outfitters are happy to take participants on the water. Stanley guiding companies like White Cloud Rafting Adventures and The River Company offer various guided trips on the salmon. Trips range from done in a day excursions to overnight adventures. Other commercial facilities like Sawtooth Adventure Company also provide scenic float trips with stand up paddle boards. People love Stanley because of the scenic drives. Stanley sits at the intersection of three designated scenic byways. This incredible junction leads to inspiring travel in all directions. The three highways are Ponderosa Pine Scenic Byway, Salmon River Scenic Byway, and Sawtooth Scenic Byway. 
The Sawtooth Scenic Byway shoots straight south to connect with Sun Valley and Ketchum. Sun Valley is home to America's first destination ski resort, Sun Valley Resort. The Sawtooth Mountains border the route to the west and the equally stunning White Cloud Mountains are to the east. Heading west from Stanley, the Ponderosa Pine Scenic Byway navigates through the bountiful Boise National Forest. Hot springs and hiking trails line much of this paved scenic route. It's the most common way to reach Stanley from Boise with approximately a three hour drive. The Salmon River Scenic Byway follows its namesake source east from Stanley. Hot springs and riverside pullouts line this route which connects to Salmon, another adventure mecca in Idaho. People love Stanley because of the Sawtooth National Recreation Area. Stanley sits at the border of three national forests and hundreds of hiking trails lace each of them. The Sawtooth National Recreation Area, NRA, south of Stanley and part of the Sawtooth National Forest has over 700 miles of hiking trails on its own. With hundreds of overnight routes available, the Alice Toxaway Loop within the NRA is a well-trodden choice. This elevated 19 mile trek typically spans two to three days. The route navigates around two gorgeous alpine lakes with craggy mountains in sight much of the entire way. The Alice Toxaway Loop is a postcard perfect introduction for many first time backpacking trips into the Sawtooths. However, the route includes at least 3,000 feet of elevation gain, not making it exactly a leisurely walk in the park. This gorgeous loop is only a fraction of the backpacking routes available in the Sawtooths. The best time for hiking in this mountainous region is between July through September. This time of year is when many of the high alpine routes are relatively free of snow. People love Stanley because of the camping and RVing. The area all around Stanley, including the Sawtooth NRA, are some of the best places to go camping in Idaho. The three national forests surrounding Stanley have both developed and primitive camping opportunities. Closest to the town center, several developed campgrounds surround Redfish Lake. Many of these campgrounds accept reservations ahead of time and are often booked the moment they become available. Developed campgrounds also line the three scenic byways leading into Stanley. Places to park and camp for free also stem from these highways. Primitive camping is free but has no amenities like water, restrooms or garbage collection. To ensure campsites for generations to come, visitors need to leave each primitive spot better than they found it. People love Stanley because of the cross country and back country skiing. The rugged landscape around Stanley transforms into a winter wonderland during the colder months of the year. All types of snow recreation stem out from town, including snowmobile and snowshoeing. However, cross-country skiing is one of the most popular means of winter travel. The nearby Alturas Lake and Park Creek ski trails host the most groomed cross-country skiing in the area. Park Creek is closer to town and has approximately 16 kilometers of groomed routes. It helps to have a trail map for the first few times visiting. Alturas Lake trails are farther away, 25 miles south on the Sawtooth Scenic Byway. Here an additional 16 kilometers of groomed trails lead right to the lakeside. Backcountry skiing is also popular within the big country terrain near Stanley. These off-trail pursuits often include travel into avalanche country. The sport requires proper experience alongside the right gear and physical ability. People love Stanley because of the Stanley Museum. On Highway 75 within a mile of town, the Stanley Museum offers a unique glimpse into the region's pioneering past. Housed in the retired Valley Creek Ranger Station, the building itself is an artifact of this rugged era. The converted museum is open daily between Memorial Day and Labor Day. Exhibits vary throughout the building, but all focus on the early days of settlers in the region. Displays include photographs, artifacts, and interpretive information. Volunteers at the museum are also happy to elaborate on many of the exhibits. The property also features a recently renovated ice house. This antique structure reveals how settlers prevented meat spoilage before the age of refrigerators. Generous views of the countryside also span out in each direction from the museum, making for a photogenic pit stop. People love Stanley because of the fishing. The region surrounding Stanley is synonymous with world-class fishing. That's much in thanks to the main branch and middle fork of the Salmon River, both easily accessible from Stanley. 
These two blue ribbon waterways provide miles of angling opportunities and some of the most scenic mountain backdrops seen in the sport. It could take a lifetime to understand all the nuances of fly fishing on the salmon. Luckily, there's a handful of fishing guides in Stanley that already know where to look. Places like Headwaters Fly Fishing Guides and Salmon River Anglers provide various services including half day and full day trips. For some more local knowledge and a wide selection of gear, Stanley Fly Shop on Nice Avenue is a place to visit. Alongside tackle, rods and reels, this local fish shop also has an extensive rod rental program. The reasons provided in this video are not all the reasons why people love Stanley. If you've got a reason why you love Stanley, pop it in the comments section. I'll make another video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Ciao for now!